Hello, my name is Chiu Qi Chen, and today we will be talking about Android in the shell. How to use the command line to make your life easier. What shell are we talking about? Well, it's the command line interface, and it is literally a line for you to type in your commands. I like to use it for two things. One, to quickly iterate to figure out what's going on. It is nice because it's interactive. You type something, you see it, and then you change a little bit, and then see what's happening. I also like to use the command line to automate some tasks that I do all the time. Disclaimer, though, I am not here to claim that I'm showing you all the tricks that you can do in the command line. In fact, there are so many; it's like the boundless sea. So I'll just be showing you a few of my favorites. Here's how this talk going to go. First, I'll share a few pearls of my favorite commands. They are not Android specific, but just something that I do all the time. That is almost muscle memory. And then we'll get into the Android part. I'll show you how I automate some tasks that I do all the time, and how I put them into scripts. Here. I'm using the terminal within Android Studio. This way, I can edit a file and execute it very quickly. All right, let's get started. The first thing I want to show you is my all-time favorite, Control R. Control R lets you search back in history to find commands that you have done before. So, for example, you want to do something with ADB, but you don't remember exactly what you did. You can type adb, and then it will start showing you. Oh, last time what I did was I did an adb dash d for device shell to look at the content of the screencast directory. This is such a game changer because otherwise I'll be just pressing up 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 all the time to find that one command that I want to run. Another of my favorite command is cd dash. cd dash allows you to go back to the previous directory that you came from. So, for instance, right now I'm in demo, and I want to go to desktop. Okay, I'm at desktop, and instead of typing cd demo again, I can press cd dash, and it will drop me back to the previous directory. And of course, if you do that again. It will go back to desktop because now that's your new previous directory. A lot of times, I'm jumping back and forth between two directories, so this is super handy. Those are the two pros of my favorite commands: Control R and CD Dash. Next, we are going to jump into Android. A lot of times, I find that my phone is running out of space, and that's because I have been running tests. And they are kind of hidden. I can't see them within the interface of my phone. The way to go clean up is you use ADB. First, I'll use ADB to show me what test I have installed. ADB shell pm list instrumentation. Oh wow, there are quite a few of them. To uninstall a test, I will need to know the package name. It is shown on this list. You can see it says instrumentation colon and then the package name and then slash and then how it's run using the Android JUnit runner and then also the target app that the test runs on. I will take multiple steps to extract the package name. First, I'll run the same command. And then pipe it into cut. I'll be using the colon as the delimiter, so dash d colon. Then I would like to take the second field, so dash f two. Now I got rid of the first part, which is instrumentation colon. Next, I would like to get just the first part, the part in front of slash. Again, we can use cut. How will you do that? I'll let you think about it a little bit. The way to do that 
is we'll take the command, build it up, add the pipe at the end, cut. This time, the delimiter is slash. So dash D, slash, and then dash F1. Great, now we have the package names. Then we would like to uninstall these packages. To do that, we will need to run adb uninstall. But you can't just pipe it into it because the way adb uninstall works is that you first type adb uninstall and then the package name. Xargs comes to rescue. Xargs allows you to put whatever you want in front first and then whatever get piped in got put at the end. So just to test, I'm going to pipe that into xargs echo. Echo, just say whatever you told it to say. So here you can see that it says the first task a package, the second, the third, and things like that. So I can say echo adb uninstall. It's not actually going to run the command, it's just echoing. So now we're going to run it. Delete the word echo so that it says xrx adb uninstall. Oh, that did not work. The reason why it doesn't work is because you cannot just say adb uninstall package, 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 package. It only takes one package at a time. Fortunately, xrx has an argument called dash n that allows you to say maximum one argument if you do dash n1. So now, if I do that, xargs dash n1, it will go ahead and run it one at a time. So it says success, 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 success. So now all five of them are uninstalled. To verify, I will simply run the instrumentation again. Let's use my favorite trick, control R, and then instrumentation. And then I'll keep pressing control R until I find the one that has nothing at the end. And indeed, all of them has been cleared. Next, we'll write a script together to pull screenshots off the phone. Sometimes I'm not at my computer and I need a screenshot. So what I'll do is I'll press power volume down to capture a screenshot. Then when I'm at my computer, I'll plug my phone in and then use ADB to pull the files out. First, I'll do an LS to see what's in my screenshots directory. ADB shell LS SD card pictures screenshots. I would like to get the screenshots just from today. Let's make a script for that. To initiate the script, I use the command which, which bash, and then greater than pull screenshots.sh. In Android Studio, I'm going to open this file. Next, I'm going to add pang exclamation mark to the first line that was generated from which. This way, I'm letting the shell know that please execute this script using the command bash. Next, we need to make this script executable. chmod plus x and then pull screenshots.sh. With that, we are going to run that ls command inside the script. Control R to find the command, and then I'm going to copy and paste. Run the script. It did the same thing. Now I want to restrict it to just today. What I will do is to add today's date in my ls command. I recorded it on April 16th, so 20200416. Now I only have the two files that I captured today. I can proceed with this 
but that means next time, if it's not the 16th of April when I run this script, it will not be getting the files from today. So I'm going to use the shell command date to incorporate today's date into my ls command. If you run date just like this, it will print it in this format, which is not what we want. We can format it with plus and then the format string, percent %y, percent %m, percent %d. Now it is printing the format we want. To incorporate that into the ls command, I'm going to assign it into a variable called today. Today equal backtick. This is how we can tell shell to run this command and assign the result to the variable today. Then I'm going to use this variable by doing dollar curly brace and then today. Run the script and it's going to show just that two file. The difference is that if I run it on the 17th, it will be showing me the files from the 17th and so on because I'm using the date command. Okay, so now I know the files that I want to pull. I need to go ahead and pull it. I can either use xarch again, or this time I'm going to show you the for loop. Yes, I know you know for loop, but the syntax in bash is slightly different. For and then path, it's the variable I assign to it, in and then backtick the whole command, semicolon, do, and then we'll do adb pool dollar sign path, and then done. Let's run this command. All right, I pulled both files. If I run this again, it will pull it again. What if I only want to pull it if the file wasn't there already. To do that, I will use an if statement to check whether I have the file already. How will we do that? Well, I need to get just the file name out of the path. If I do an echo here, you can see that path contains the full path. I can use the cut command to get just the file name, but in bash, there's a convenient command called baseline. I can say name equal backtick base name dollar path. And then I can echo the name. Now we have just the file name, not the full path. With that, we are going to go ahead and check whether I already have this file, the if statement. If square bracket exclamation point dash F and then dollar sign name. This means that if it does not have the file with this name, then literally the word then, I'm going to go ahead and pull it. All right, let's try the script. Nothing happens because we already have all the screenshots. I'm going to go ahead and remove one of them and then run the script. All right, it pulled just a file that I don't have. In this example, I showed you how to create a script file, make it executable, and then use various commands to assign into variables and if statement to check whether we need to do something or not. I have shared with you my two favorite pearls of commands, control R and CD dash. Then I showed you how to use the interactive shell to uninstall the tests. Finally, we were making a script together to pull screenshots from today that are not already pulled. I hope these tips will get you more efficient using Android in the shell. Thank you.